Yeah, but I'm going on part three of this fundamental video. This section is gonna um, explain how to get off certain habits that you have. Like part one, part two, explain you know all that good shit. But what about your habits? You may have exposed your opponent for your hab for for their habits, but what if they try to expose you for yours? What if you know your you have a certain thing that you do over and over and kind of gets you punished. This is another part of why people might not progress or having a hard time in the game because they actually have habits and they may not realize it. One way to realize habits is if you're getting hit a lot by something, figure out why why you're getting hit so much. Uh, like for example, um, like sometimes if I see somebody that likes to roll and size up a lot, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'll do this and you know go for some combos or whatever. After you know I've done with what I explained in part one and part two of this video, you know getting a data fish and all that shit. Once I see that, you know I get my experience and be like, oh, I'm gonna just do this free damage, get him in the air, wait for like an air dodge or whatever. If he does, if he doesn't, you know I'll just wait. And, you know do this and proceed till he dies. Like I've. I do this so many times in a match and then people still roll into it and then they start bitching about pizza down here is broken this and that the movie stupid so you do and I'm only doing it because every time I go near you or whatever you always shit your pants you're scared like I go near you and I won't do nothing you freaking flinchy and you just move into my attacks so why am I gonna do anything else free freaking damage until you learn your lesson no I don't have to work hard. Why work hard when I don't have to? You know? But generally habit theory the reason people have certain habits and they do it over and over is because they play people that let them get away with it. Like if somebody went near me and I would always do this or this and then get a punish I'm going to keep doing it because mentally my brain is processing that yo this shit is safe you know every time somebody goes near me I'm always thinking oh they're always gonna attack so freak it I'm just evade and then punish you know that's what it is that's why usually people have that happy because every time somebody goes near them they always try to attack so they evade it and they get a free punish now, if I was to fight somebody that knows better, freaking knows how to adapt and whatever, and I did some shit like this, they see that, be like, all right, they go near me, they don't do anything. I do that, and you know, it's a free punish. So, with that breakdown out the way, I'm explaining to you some ways to get off your habits. One, it's important that you realize you have a habit. If you're getting beat up a lot, I suggest you question why. Why is this shit happening? A good way to do that is um just record matches and then watch yourself. Every time you get hit, stop the video and be like, alright, why did I get hit? How did this happen? This helps you analyze, helps you see your habits and how to work on them. So for here I'm just gonna cover the basic beginner new habits, which is people who do this shit a lot. And I, I just explain why people do that. So if you realize this, good job. You're on the first step of recovery. If you realize this and you want to figure out how to get out this habit, you can do two things. Well, three things. One, you can just block. If you have enough shield, block. And in time, you know, attack out the shield. Two, if you see your opponent swinging your attacks, what you can do, you know, you can just walk away. Or you can run away. Or you can move him with your shield, have him attack, and then, you know, do that. If you do not, if you have no other option but to do this, or something like that, by all means do it. But if that is not your only option, it's not really necessary, don't do it. And people panic a lot when their opponent goes near them. They panic a lot, they don't know what to do, they become scared as shit, and that's why they do stuff like that so 
that's some ways that well that's how I got off my rolling habit cuz everybody had a rolling habit when I first started this game and that's how I was but really it was based off me I think brought to sometimes but pretty much that's what I do I don't try to roll unless I have no choice otherwise I'm either gonna walk walk away run away or just block keep swinging last minute hit him or you can jump up you can jump away too like if you're in the shield and they're facing their moves and you don't want to do this all the time or do this if they're chasing you can you know jump back if you have good range you get a spacing you can just jump back and do something like that you know whatever the case may be that's those are some ways right there to get off your habits now it's not always rolling you know rolling the side step and whatever it could be other habits like maybe sometimes you like to the same peach's case some habits that i've seen with this character is they want to fare they're like down there and not the they're not the last minute they they come in with that so with me if i see this when i'm in a peach diddle what i'm gonna just do is all right he always did that peach from the waist up she's open so when i see them like all right i'm just full hop well, full hop, hit her out of it. Or some characters, like Marv, they can just jump in and get a free fair. Like, just jump in and fair for doing that. She's not safe. She's not safe from a lot of attacks in this game. And the reason Peace players keep doing that is because... One, that's all they know. People let them get away with it. They don't get punished for it too much. They're like, So it's like, oh, I'm not getting punished for this shit a lot. I'm keep doing it. It's pretty good. I am the best. No, no, it's not. And then also, they depend on luck. They just do the shit and then just hope as it happens. Like I explained in my other videos, they just hope this shit happens. So in general, this is how you get off some of the habits that you know you might have. And also to realize your habits, like I said, watch videos or not even watching videos. I say videos recommend is probably the best. Gives you better visualization. But also when you're in a match and you get hit a few times, question yourself. Like in between stocks. If you lose stock with a like, okay, why did I lose the stock? What the fuck was going on? Uh why am I getting hit so much? When you see a pattern of where your opponent is getting the most damage off of you, this is telling me like, alright, this shit, this shit ain't gonna rock. He kept on getting damaged because of this. Um, he would do an attack, and I try to jump on my shield to block, and it's not safe because he would just follow with something else. I get punished every time. So I'm gonna let him do an attack in my shield. Once the attack is done, I'm gonna stay in shield and wait for the other attack, and then I'm gonna hit this guy, and then boom, you get the punish. So yeah, pretty much think that explains it. Uh, just watch videos, record yourself, and also think, every time you get hit, think, why did you get hit? Also, every time you hit your opponent, think, alright, why did I hit my opponent? That's also good, too. You need to learn, you know, why this is working, you know, if your opponent's fucking up, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So, in case they switch up, or, you know, you're, like, trying to come up with some way to deal your damage, be like, alright, this is... How I'm getting my damage and I'm not getting punished for it so much. Let's, you know, keep that going. And then when you see it's not working as well as it was before, you know, think about, you know, what you're doing wrong that's, you know, your opponent's getting away with it. And to a point where it's actually costing you the match, you know, shit like that. Yeah! Alright, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this segment. Um... Until the next one. Peace.